is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Fragger Builds. So last time we built up this blacksmith here and I think it turned out pretty good and you guys seem to think so as well. But between episodes I did do a lot of resource gathering. So as you can see I have quite a few more diamonds here and I also have quite a bit more iron. And from that resource gathering, I did get a lot of XP, so I did do a little bit more enchanting, and I got some decent enchants here, so I am pretty set there, and I also got some enchants on my armor here. I don't have my helmet or chest plate enchanted yet, but as you might be able to see on my boots and leggings, I have mending. And I also, between episodes, went back to the village that we started out in the last episode over there. And I set up some village trades. So I am going to go over there, which I did also dig out this tunnel between episodes. And this goes directly to the village. So it is quite a bit of a ways, so I'm probably going to speed this up a little bit. And just like that, we are in the village. So I believe that's about a 300 block journey. So it is quite a waste and it did take me a long time to dig that tunnel out. But our villagers are just over here. And unfortunately, this is all the villagers that we have in this village. Aside from this other guy that was, oh, there he is right there. But unfortunately, this guy is a nitwit, so he cannot get a trade. So we are just left with these three guys over here. And I have a coal trade here to get emeralds. And then over here, I have my brick trade, which I really haven't used much yet. And then this guy has my mending trade. And this is a pretty good trade. To be completely honest with you, 16 emeralds for a mending book is not bad. I could get it better if I wanted to by turning him into a zombie villager and then transforming him back to a regular villager. That would get me a lower trade, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. I am probably just going to leave these guys alone and just deal with this trade. And yeah, that is my trading hall right there. It is pretty simple it doesn't look super good but it is very functional and I actually I need to cover that guy up um, here I'll take this I completely forgot to cover that guy whoops that could have been bad but thankfully nothing happened anyway that's pretty much it over here I got these trades going and I do have other villages or some over there and then there's one over there on the other side of our city that I can go to if I want to get more trades. But for right now, I think this is going to be good. So I'm going to head back over to our city and then we can talk about what we're going to do today. So today, my plan is really to just continue working on the city. So I do want to build up another house in this area. And we also might get around to building up the clock tower which I want the clock tower to be pretty centralized in the city. So I'm thinking probably somewhere around here is where it's going to go. So we might get around to doing that today or at least planning it out. But I'm not entirely sure yet. It depends on how quickly we're able to get some of this other stuff done. And um, I am not sure where I'm going to build the house. And I'm also not entirely sure what... I want to make it like if I want to give it a profession like this one is the blacksmith I'm not sure what I would make this one maybe a bakery that could be cool I don't know I'll figure that out later but I am going to build another house here I think I might make it a little bit smaller than that one only like two stories tall potentially I don't know I'll figure all of that out before I start building it of course and as for the pathways here, I 
don't want to say the final result of the poll yet because at the time of recording this, I do believe you are still able to vote on it. So I am going to wait until the results get a little more finalized to say definitively which one won. But as of recording this, the dark gray deep slate path is winning. And in fact, I don't even think this light gray one has any votes. So it's looking like this one's probably going to win. But I do want to let you guys finish the poll and do the extra voting before I say with 100% certainty that this one wins. And so I probably won't get around to doing those until the end of the episode. But anyway, I'm going to get some work done on building up this house here and maybe planning out the clock tower as well, or at least clearing out that area. And then I'll come back to you guys. So I've gotten a little more work done here and I've got this bakery built up and I think it's looking pretty good. I even did a little bit of the interior here on the bottom floor as you can see. I have this counter here and then I also have a few smokers here which are supposed to be like ovens for where the baking happens. And then I put a few cakes up here in this window and a pumpkin pie. Unfortunately, you can't place pumpkin pies in the world, so I did have to use an item frame, but I think it'll be fine. And that's pretty much it for down here. There are a few extra things that I will probably add to it later, but for right now, I think this is fine. And for the upstairs here, I did make it a block shorter than the downstairs, and I did that on purpose because I wanted it to feel a little bit more cozy, and I think bringing it down a block is going to really help out with that. But unfortunately, I haven't gotten around to doing the interior yet for the upstairs, and the way you get up there is through this staircase, so it is outside of the shop downstairs, and I... Also did that on purpose because I kind of wanted to feel, I wanted the upstairs to feel like it was separate from this shop down here. And I think having the staircase on the outside helps with that a little bit. But anyway, next I think I am going to not actually build up the clock tower like I said at the beginning of this episode. I did clear out this area for it, but... I kind of decided before recording that I wanted to work on more of the storage buildings in this city. And I specifically want to work on my wood storage next because I am starting to run out of storage up here. And the storage up here is kind of a mess. I mean, you really just have to look at this chest. Um, so I do want to do a little bit more work on the storage buildings. And so I think the next one that I'm going to do is going to be right here. And I think I'm going to make it a sort of lumber mill. So it's going to be my wood storage and the milling area is probably going to be up here somewhere. And I also want to have a space to grow these really tall trees here. So I may put that down there. I'm not sure yet. I still need to figure out the layout, of course. So I am probably going to get started on that and planning out the build here. And then I'll come back to you guys and show you what I have. And just like that, this guy is planned out. So going over the plan here, as you can see, I am going to have a giant building up here. And this is where all of the milling is going to happen. And it is going to be made out of bricks, as you can probably see as well. And I am also going to put in these deep slate brick highlights. And these are going to be giant archways here that will allow you to get inside of this milling area. And I think it's going to look really good, especially with these archways being one block forward from these bricks to give a little bit of depth. I think that this area is going to look amazing once it's done. So I am pretty excited to see how this turns out. I was originally going to use stone here instead of bricks, but then when I started planning it, 
I figured bricks would probably end up looking a lot better. So I just ended up going with those instead. And I think that is going to end up being the right decision. I think these are going to end up looking really good. So I'm super excited to see what this looks like. But then we have this pathway out here that gives you access to this area down here via stairs. And I am thinking about making this area where I grow the trees. So I'm not completely sure if I'm going to have that here or if I'm going to have that down there and then just have this area to actually store the chopped up wood. I'm not sure yet or like store the wood before it goes into the mill. I'm not sure about that one yet. I will still have to figure that one out if I want to grow the trees down there or up here. Right now, I'm thinking about growing them down there. Either way, I'm probably still going to have a staircase that goes down there, probably somewhere around here that goes down that way. And this area is going to get built out a little bit as well. So it's not going to be this far back. But then to get all of the logs from down there into the mill here, I am going to have a giant crane right here. And it is going to take the logs from there and probably swing them around here and then put them in the mill right here. So that's probably how the crane is going to get them into the mill. But anyway, that's pretty much as far as I've gotten, and that is the plan for this area. So I am going to get this guy built up a little bit more, and hopefully it'll be pretty much finished, aside from all of the little details, of course, and hopefully it'll look pretty good. And just like that, this guy is done. Well, actually, not really. I am very far from being finished with this build, as you can probably tell. I have just got the basic design built up now, and really all that's left to do is add a lot of these smaller details and just get this place a little bit more polished up. But I think right now, this basic design is looking pretty good. Obviously, I did run out of bricks up there, so I need to get some more of those. And there are a few other things that I need to do polish-wise as well, like add some texture variation to make it look a little more interesting and just adding more details in general. Now, I did make a few changes to the original plan. As you may have seen, I did add in this staircase here along the side. That was originally not part of the plan but I kind of wanted to have access to the roof. And so I decided I was gonna put a staircase here and that did mean that I had to make this opening a little bit shorter than it was originally designed to be. So this is a little bit shorter, but I think it's fine. I did make this one to match that one, but I am considering potentially making this one as tall as these other ones here so that it matches with those better. And I think the asymmetry would be fine here. In fact, I do really like making my builds a little bit more asymmetrical. I think it looks pretty cool. But the main reason why I wanted to have roof access is because I'm considering putting some buildings up here. And these buildings would probably be like the main office buildings of this place. So like where all of the employees would come to clock in at the beginning of the day. And they also might be for storage for like spare parts for any of the machinery around here. I think it would be really cool to have some buildings up here. So I think that is what the plan is going to be. And I do want to also build out the terrain here to come up against the building here as well. And I will probably have to fill in some of these archways with bricks, probably, and make them not accessible to the inside. So this whole thing would be filled in with bricks. I may fill it in with 
these deep slate bricks, but I'm not sure yet. But that is kind of my general plan for this, is to build out the terrain here and put some more buildings on top of the roof there. I think that would look really cool. And as for down here, as I said before, this is probably going to end up being the main storage for the chopped down trees before they get transported into the mill. So I still need to detail this out, of course. And I am thinking about making the ground here a combination of coarse dirt and podzol. So I do have plenty of podzol up there from the spruce trees growing. I will probably need to get a little bit more of that stuff. But I am going to make this area podzol and coarse dirt because I think that would look really good. And it would make it feel a little more muddy. And that's kind of what I want to go for for this area is that it's a little bit more dirty and muddy. And like it's been used a lot. And then down here is where all of the trees are going to be grown. So I'll probably have some spruce trees growing down here and some dark oak trees. So they're all going to be grown down here. And as for the crane, I haven't built that yet. I'm still planning on building it in the same location. And the staircase here is going to add a little bit of extra complication to it. But I am still planning on building it over here. I may actually build it further back so that the crane swings this way and then have some sort of conveyor system that comes out of the mill here that you would place the logs onto to get them into the mill. Um, I'm not sure yet. I still may go with the original design where it swings the logs around that way. But yeah, that's pretty much as far as I've gotten on this guy. I just need to add some finishing details and a little more polish. And then this guy is hopefully going to be finished. So I've got this guy in a pretty good spot right now. It's not quite finished yet, unfortunately. But I am completely out of time today. So I am going to have to finish it at another time. I may start off the next episode finishing it up, or I may do it between episodes off camera. I'm not entirely sure yet, but anyway, that's enough talking about that. Let's go over what I did. So as you can see, this first thing here, I did build up the crane. I think it looks pretty good. It's not horrible. I probably could have done a little bit better, so I may still do a little bit of redesigning for it but I'm not sure how to make it better. And being completely honest with you, this is the first crane I've ever made. So that's why it doesn't look super great, but I am pretty happy with it regardless of how it looks. I think it looks fine. But going over this area here, which is where all of the wood is being stored, I, like I said, did texture it with podzol and coarse dirt, and I did throw in a little bit of regular dirt here in the middle of the pathway. It's a little bit difficult to see, but the texture is a bit different. And I did lower this part down a little bit as well, and I did that to make it feel like this part here is a little bit more worn. Like there's been a lot of people walking through here and there's just like a trench that was kind of naturally made there just from so many people walking through it. And I think that turned out pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. And then as for these guys here, these log piles, I used the old rail trick to act as like tie downs for the logs. So these logs are kind of like being tied down by these rails. I think it looks really good. It's a very old trick. People have been doing this for a while and I it, it works very well. And then off in the corner here underneath the staircase, I have this pile of oak logs and I made these a little bit smaller and I used the extinguished campfires for these guys here. And I think it looks really good. I really love using these extinguished campfires as like smaller cut up logs. I think it looks amazing. And then as for these walls here with the texturing, at the bottom here I have dripstone blocks. 
And that's because this area is a little bit more muddy, a little bit more dirty. And so it kind of makes sense that there would be some mud getting thrown up on the bottoms of these walls here. And so that's kind of just like, it's supposed to be like dirty stone. And then for the rest of the texturing, I just mixed in some of this tuff with the cobblestone. And I think it looks really good. I'm very happy with how the texturing turned out on these walls. And then on these posts here, I mixed in a few of these cracked deep slate brick blocks just to make it look like this place is a little bit more worn down. And on the railings here, I put in some stairs and some slabs to kind of give the same effect that this place is just a little bit more worn. But then going inside of the mill itself, as you can see, I do have a few machines in here. And this one is just kind of like a conveyor belt. I'm not finished with this yet. I do want to improve the design a little bit to make it look a little bit better. But I think for right now, this is fine and I'll just fix it up later. But then this thing here is supposed to be where the logs are kind of milled into their final shape. So you have these logs here, or these saws rather, that cut off the excess parts of the log. And then this one here in the middle just cuts the log in half. And then they end up in these stripped logs that are about three logs long, about three blocks long, that are then laid on the ground here in a pile. And I'll probably have another crane maybe somewhere around here that will pick up the logs from in there. And then there'll probably be another roadway down here and put them on like a truck or something like that. And for these saws, I just use stone cutters. And these are supposed to be like, I guess, the engines of this sawmill. And these are just blast furnaces. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. And then for the conveyor belt here, these are just um, grindstones. And then we also have this chimney stack on each one of these things that goes all the way up. And then those go up to the four chimneys that you saw earlier, that you may have seen earlier, these guys up here. So that's what these are attached to is these f blast furnaces down here. And I didn't quite get the interior finished, uh, not quite yet anyway, and I did build out the terrain here like I said I was going to, but I didn't fill in these walls either, so I still have quite a bit of work left to do, and I am not exactly sure where to go with it, to be completely honest with you. I will have to do a lot of work to kind of figure out the direction I want to go in here. But I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. Of course, I didn't build any buildings up here yet, so I will have to do that as well. And I'm not exactly sure what style I want to do it yet either, so I need to figure that out too. But unfortunately, that is going to be it for this guy today. Like I said, I am completely out of time. So I will have to finish this guy a little bit later. Uh, I'll probably start off the next episode building it up and finishing it up. And that leads me into my next thing, which is I'm not sure what I want to do next time. So I'm going to have you guys vote on what I do next. And your options are to either build the clock tower like we were originally going to do before I decided to build up this lumber mill. Or you can vote on me building up some more of these storage buildings. And the next one that I would probably build would be a rock quarry of some sort for the stone storage. I'm not entirely sure where that would go. Maybe over there. I'm not sure. It'll be on the outskirts of the city, kind of like this lumber mill is. It won't be near the center of the city, of course. So I'm not exactly sure where I would put it, but I would obviously figure that out before I start building it. So those are your two options. We can either build the clock tower up next time. And if we do build up the clock tower, we would also build up some more buildings around the rest of the city as well. Or we can build up the rock quarry or really any other building for storage purposes. 
So if you have any ideas on other buildings that would be storage related, then you can leave those down in the comment section, of course. So don't forget to vote on that poll in the community tab. But unfortunately, that is going to be it for this one. So if you did enjoy it, then do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And if you guys have any suggestions for this series or any other series on my channel, then make sure to leave those down in the comment section. And if you guys would like to interact with me or my community outside of YouTube, then don't forget to join my Discord server linked down in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter. But anyway, that is going to be it for this one. So as always, don't forget to keep building.